guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and hello. It's been a while. Um, at least it feels like it's been a while for me. But today I'm going to be bringing you guys my February wrap up talking about all the books that I read in the month of February. <laughs> I read a total of 10 things this month. I did not complete every book on my TBR. I did not read my Classic of the Month or my King of the Month, but I did read Two Kings the previous month, and I did read I I did finish a classic in March that I'm that I really really liked. So you'll hear more about that later. But for February, I read. I'll put this shit here. There you go. First thing I read was All We Saw. This is a little, just a poetry collection that I read on my phone. It was okay, wasn't great, wasn't bad. Um, I just don't have much to say about it. It was just kind of average in my opinion, so I ended up giving that three out of five stars. Then I read Rumble by Alan Hopkins. So this story, this is about a boy named Matthew who is an atheist, if I remember correctly. It's been quite a bit, but he's dating a very Christian girl and a lot of uh, their beliefs clash very often and it's just about Matthew and his coming of age story and it deals a lot with religion and other topics as well but I buddy read this with Peter from Peter Likes Books. He has it. I don't even think he's finished it but um, I really enjoyed this one. It's probably in my top three favorites from Ellen Hopkins. I thought it was just really raw and truthful and emotional and I got really into it so I do think this one is definitely a good one to pick up and if you don't know Ellen Hopkins her books are written in verse if you do not know so yeah quite enjoyed this one i gave it four stars which is pretty bomb for me so here we have a super exciting one and that is planting gardens and graves by rh sin so this is his poetry collection and i was his new poetry collection and i was actually sent this by andrews mcneil publishing in exchange for an honest review so thank you so much to them i was so happy that i got to work with them a bit this month and um get sent some poetry collections in exchange for honest review but this was just i love this so much i have talked about this a lot in reading blogs and things like that but i did end up giving it a 4.5 out of 5 stars it's one of my favorites of his collections and his collections are just always really fabulous and i think you can tell by the tabs how much just i tend to enjoy his work and my only con with it was just like the audience that I thought it was targeted toward. It's not even a pro I don't know if it was a problem, but I talk about it more in depth. So I'll link the reading blog where I talk about it down below. But just thank you so much to Andrews McMeal Publishing. And I just really enjoyed this. And you guys know how much I love RH Sin. I have like all his stuff. And I was super excited for this release. So yes, I ended up giving this a 4.5 out of 5 stars, which is amazing. Then I read another amazing one that I was also sent by them, and that was The Witch Doesn't Burn in this one, which I was sent a early copy from the publisher, and this was so good, and I'm so excited. We're like, right now it's on sale, so it's out there, and I'm super excited for everybody to read it. I think, I think I liked it better than The Princess Saves Herself in this one. It's very feminist, powerful, um, woman's, pr like, you know, it's all... It was so positive and just feminist and I just really appreciated that and I love how it talked about like the fire within people and I just love so many things about this and I think it was really really fantastic and I am so excited to see what else she's going to release in the future because she's only released two collections but they, they're both amazing. She's releasing a third one in the series I think about like mermaids and sirens which sounds awesome but I ended up giving this one a 4.5 stars as well and it was really cool. I gave a lot of really good ratings this month, as you can see, which is really amazing, which is why I'm not too upset about that I didn't complete everything on my TBR or my goals because I did read a lot of things I ended up really enjoying. And I participated in a contemporary fun. I don't think I mentioned that, but I did okay. <laughs> I've read like one thing, whatever. Um, so next up here I have Retribution Rails by Aaron Bowman. This is the companion to uh, Vengeance Road by Aaron Bowman. These are YA Western books. And in this book, we follow two characters, one who part of a gang and he was kind of forced into this violent lifestyle. And then one from a girl named Charlotte who ends up clashing with the clan, not the clan, the clashing with um, the gang in a way. And we follow both their point of views and it's a Western. It's so much fun. I love Westerns so much. If you guys have any recommendations, please let me know because something about like the desert 
and the way they talk and just the setting and these characters were so amazing were so amazing and I just loved the journey and I loved the message throughout the story and I love this way more than book one which I did quite enjoy book one but this I ended up really really loving surprise like I was I had a lot of good ratings this month and this I just enjoyed reading so much so I ended up giving this one a 4.75 of out of five so it's definitely one of my favorites of the whole entire year and I just really loved this like holy shit was it good? Next up here, I have a very big book, so I'm gonna try not to hold it up for too long, but that is Lighter Than My Shadow. This thing is heavy. This is by Katie Green. I read this for Contemporary Thon, and this deals with a lot of um, really important issues and really tough issues, so I will play some trigger warnings. I'll put the rest of them on the screen, but for some trigger warnings for abuse as well as eating disorders, so please be keep that in mind. But I personally think this is one of the best graphic novels I've ever read. It really, really impressed me. I've never read something so raw in like a graphic novel format and it was just beautiful and I think it just needs to be read by so many people if you think you can handle the subject matter and I gave it like five stars. <laughs> wow, I had a good reading month. Camera's dying, great. Next up here, I read How to Deal Tarot for Everyday Life. This, I received an advanced reader copy. This comes out in May. May 18th. Um, I wish to see this from HCC Frenzy, which is the teen department over at HarperCollins. So thank you so much to them for sending this to me. But I request this because I've been wanting to get into tarot and tarot readings and tarot cards. And like, I've just been really getting into it recently. And I wanted, when I saw that they had this book coming out, I requested it because I was really excited about it. I did like it. Like my rating doesn't sound like I liked it, but I did enjoy it. I think it is a good guide. Uh, I don't know if I would recommend it to like older people like I don't know I thought the writing was very juvenile and it was a lot like oh when your BFF does this or when your BFF dates your boyfriend like it was just very like middle school-esque which it is like young adult but it's still the actual writing style was very juvenile to me and it very much got on my nerves and not all the cards match up with the deck and there was just some things like that it was just one card but it was just some things like that I just didn't love it but I do think it's a decent guide so I gave it around like a 2.75 to 3 out of 5 stars. Next up here I have Dear Aunt Catherine and this is by Lori Ann Pokin and this I was I was sent in exchange for an honest review by the author which unfortunately I did not end up enjoying this one very much at all. I had a lot of problems with it and I kind of ranted about it on Twitter a little bit but basically Basically, to tell you what this book is about, this takes place in 1852 and it's about an orphan, um, Irish? Yes. And she travels to the United States to meet with her uncle, to meet her uncle. And when she arrives there, he's like the king of this palace or he's the prince or he's some master and she's kind of stuck there and some stuff goes on. But, and it's about her fight for freedom and family and shit like that. I just really wasn't impressed with this. I had a lot of issues just with the way it dealt with topics such as rape. And then the writing was very up and down for me. I overall just ended up having so many issues with this book. And I was really disappointed in it because I love helping helping out like self-published authors and stuff. So... Like, I, I felt bad giving such a negative review, but I, I'm a reviewer first always, and I just really didn't enjoy this one at all. Yeah, there was a lot of problems with it. I gave it two stars. But yes! Next up here, I have a Wild Embers, and this is by Nikita Gill. I ended up really enjoying this. This is another poetry collection, and I just love this one so much. It very much is Amanda Lovelace-esque. It's a lot about feminism, which I really enjoyed, and I enjoyed, like, it was just the becoming, love with, is broken, homes, the, bo the bones of trauma. It was just a solid collection, and I ended up really enjoying it. 7.5 out of 5 stars. I was really impressed by how much I enjoyed this one, though. I don't know why I didn't think it'd be like incredible, but I did quite enjoy it. My last read of the month was Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2, and this is by Jami Sun. This is a really cute story about an alien that comes to Earth to study humans, and then along the way he's like, he doesn't even meet humans, but he meets these animals, and they tell him about life, and he like learns things. It's very, it's very cute. It's a graphic novel, and... I just really like the messages in them and there was kind of like a little snarky sense of humor in here and I see why people like it so much. It was very cute and I think it 
does have a lot of great messages in it. I gave it 3.75 out of 5 stars. So there you guys have it. Those were the books that I read in the month of February. Let me know what you read down below. And I promise more videos will be coming for you soon. I'm so sorry. I've been really slacking, which I never do. But... Yes, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you're new here, be sure to click the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be updated for when I post new videos and all that sort of stuff. I'll see you very soon. Bye.